Well, today, I suppose, is the public manifestation of the five organisations in the 24-7 Alliance. That's representing people who work by obligation all around the clock, maintaining essential services out there when everyone else is socialising, out there on Sundays, protecting the community, keeping the community safe. And our people in these Croke Park extension talks to date have been targeted, in our view, in a very disproportionate way. The premiums are being hit. What they get for working Sundays, Saturdays, night duty, for going to work when everyone else is socialising, that's been targeted. And today's press conference is the start of a campaign of resistance against those targets to ensure that our people do not have their pay uh, cut again. They've already had it cut. They're doing their job. Their commitment is 100 per cent. They've agreed to reorganisation, new rosters and so on. They've no more to give. And this campaign is going to keep bringing that message home until the government listens. Our members have, have can't afford any further pay cuts. That's our main concern. The government is coming to a well that's already run dry. They're coming to the easy option of the people who are out there when everyone else is asleep. The guard, the prison officer, the nurse, uh, the, the ambulance person and so on. Those people are essential to a civilised society and we're not going to have them unfairly picked on. And this press conference today is the start of a campaign. We're announcing steps in that campaign and we're asking essentially the government to think again, back up the truck and come back to the table recognising our people are paying their share, they're taking their risks and they have no more left to give. Let them go to work, let them do their job, let them commit to efficiency, let them commit to effectiveness, but don't come and try and hit their wallet. Don't come and try and hit their pay packet. They're barely paying their bills now. They won't be able to pay any more and, and meet their obligations if they're cut again and we'll resist any cuts.